Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Ainsley and or Coach A. I normally go by Coach A just because my little ones have a fantastic time attempting to say my name. It's adorable. But, eh. I'm really bad at intros. I'm sorry. I also don't like editing, so this is probably going to stay there. Um, I also have chips. Chips are good. Anyways, today I've got a fun little gymnastics craft which will really help y'all out if you ever get into a pickle and find yourself with a rip and don't know what to do about it. If you don't know what a rip is, this video probably won't be helpful for you because you're not at that level yet. But, if you're just interested in gymnastics crafts, stick around. Yeah, it was yeah. Ah, scared me. It was yeah. That's what it was. Zero balls. Here we come. And butter is zero balls. That's nice. I have no idea if you could hear him, but my brother's learning German and he just randomly appeared and scared me half to death. Anyways, so what you'll need for this craft is a sauce. Zero ghost! <laughs> I'm sorry. What you'll need for this craft is a sock. It doesn't matter what type of sock. It can be a long tube sock like this, or it can be a short sock like this, as long as it's clean. Don't be using dirty socks, because that's gross. Anyways, it's really simple. Essentially, sorry, you're going to be making a glove to protect your hand, your rip, from the elements, like your pencil, your toothbrush, your paper at school. It may look a little bit funny. You don't have to wear it out. I wore mine out because I just got to the point where I didn't care. But it's, it's a two minute long intro is what it is. Let's just, yeah. All right, so you'll need scissors and you'll need some kind of sock. I'll do one of both. Both. I'll do both. And so you can see what I'm doing. So it's really simple. I suggest finding a softer sock, preferably one that doesn't have embroidery that goes to the inside. But if it does, all you got to do is make sure that goes on the top. So you're going to put your hand in the sock, whatever you want on top needs to be on the top of your hand, obviously. From here, you're going to spread your fingers out as far as you can within the sock. Then, you're going to take your scissors and very carefully cut slits in the fabric next to your fingers. Small slits. This is an awkward angle. Just like so. For your pinky, the pinky is always a tricky one. What I've always done is I've pinched it like so, pulled my hand out, and then cut exactly on the pinch mark. Then you'll just put your hand right back in the sock. All the fingers poking through the holes like this. And pull it down as far as you can. Now, you may be thinking, that's great and all, but what about your thumb? Always do the thumb last because the thumb is going to shift once you've got these in position. If you cut the thumb earlier, then it's going to look real weird, which is why we're not moving on yet. So now we're cutting the thumb. And you want to get where the base is. Not where the top or your knuckle is, because then it's just going to feel weird. You're going to have webbing in between your fingers, and that's, it's just going to be weird. So you're going to find that spot. Pinch it, and remember that. So you're gonna pull your hand, kind of like how we did for the pinky, and you still got it marked. Then take your scissors, and again, a little slit, just like so. Then your hand goes back in the sock. All your fingers find their holes. I've got an extra hole right here because I chose one of my socks with holes but it was in the wrong spot for fingers because I've tried matching it up with fingers and it just felt weird. Um, and then you've got a sock glove. You can choose to keep the heel in or cut it off. It's totally up to you. I've already, I've always just kind of left them 
instead of bothering. Um, but this way, your hand is protected from whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you're eating. This is my hot cocoa spoon. Maybe you're eating and that rip stays protected. Of course, normal people don't hold spoons like this, but what is normal? Or maybe you're writing with your pencil or typing on your keyboard. It keeps that rip from getting into anything, which is super, super helpful. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a long tube sock because these are slightly different. They're not super, super different, but they're slightly different, different enough to make it a little bit of a challenge. With these, I have always turned them inside out because they're softer on the outside than they are on the inside because of all this rough, scratchy stuff. Then, from there, you cut the long tube off because you don't want a tube going all the way up your arm and it sheds. So just cut the tube off. And there we go. This can go away in the trash can. Then, just like last time, hand goes in, spread your fingers out as far as you can. Remember, you don't cut the thumb first, otherwise it's going to be weird. You cut the fingers, pinch for the pinky. Just like that. Fingers go in. I said fingers go in. Takes practice sometimes. Then remember, you find the big knob of the base of your thumb, pinch it, pull hand out, snip it. Not big snips, mind you, otherwise you're gonna end up with this gaping hole and it's gonna be weird. And then hand goes back in the sock. And voila! Another sock glove. And this one has texture. So yeah, you can do them in any color, any type of sock, it doesn't matter. But I will tell you, because of thumbs and pinky fingers, right or left right hands and left hands matter. You want a sock that is a right hand and a left hand. I did those hands backwards. Right hand and a left hand. Otherwise, it's going to feel weird. But there you have it. That is my gymnastics craft that I've got for y'all today to keep your rips nice and protected and moisturized. Because you want to put lotion on your rips so they don't crack and reopen. Because that's not fun. It's not. So, moisturize. You can use anything. You can use chapstick, lip balm, moisturizer, face. You can use lotion. You can use Vaseline. You can, yeah, you can use all sorts of stuff. Just keep it moisturized. Moisture, 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 moisture. So it will heal faster. Because chalk dries it out. And it's going to crack. And it's not going to feel good. Trust me on that one. That's all I've got for y'all today. Thanks for seeing me in my corner. And hopefully I didn't scare you off. Or my brother didn't scare you off. So uh, join me in one of my next videos. And go check out all my other ones. Because I have videos with um, flip tutorials. How to do cartwheels and handstands and blocks. And what's the grip. And you know, all this other good stuff. So go check it out. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video or found it helpful or creative or anything like that at all. Uh, give it a thumbs down if you didn't and let me know in the comment section down below what I can improve because I would love constructive criticism. I'll do. Give me tips. <laughs> so until next time, I will see you around. I warned you, I'm bad at outros. Bye.